So hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker once again and uh, today we're doing a video on another different bike and it is this Honda Valkyrie right here. <laughs> now I've been asked a lot about how the hell the Honda Valkyrie came about um, so I just kind of wanted to explain that. Um, if you have been following the channel a while you know that I get along very well with several people who I've met on YouTube over, over the years, one of, one of whom is uh, Grom Trooper 6189 um, I am genuinely, you know, people ask me quite a lot, you know, what's the, the best part about um, doing YouTube and honestly I say all the time it's the people I've met, uh, you know, I have friends literally all around the world just from making my, my, my stupid videos and Grom Trooper, um, Alex he messaged me months and months ago now and asked, would I be interested in, in buying this bike? Um, which I said, yes, but I really can't right now because, you know, Toaster just gotten a, gotten a job or was, I think, in the process of getting a job. I can't even remember which one. And I knew we were going to have to move house and just not possible at the time. But um, Alex said, yeah, look, I'd, I'd, I'd like you to have it. Um, he gave me a insanely good price uh, for the bike, and here it is. Um, so first and foremost, I just want to say a massive thank you uh, to Alex for giving me the opportunity to, to, to own um, a Honda Valkyrie. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's a Honda Valkyrie, an F6C, basically a Goldwing in a cruiser form. Never been a huge fan of the look of the Goldwing. Years ago, some of you might remember, I posted a uh, one of those uh, YouTube community comment things saying, here's a Goldwing, I might go buy it. And my plan with that Goldwing all those years ago uh, was to, to strip it down and take all the plastics off and kind of make it look like a Valkyrie. Because um, I think these things are cool. <laughs> I've always thought they're cool. Uh, these engines have a shed load of power and they sound great when they're, they're kind of allowed to breathe. So all of that stuff's in the future. Um, just to get out of the way, what are my plans with this? Um, first and foremost, get it running, start writing it. And from there, I suppose, we'll just do iterative, iterative improvements. Um, I would really like to get some of the, the minor blemishes on the engine cleaned up, so I don't know how I would go about doing that. Um, it's definitely not in my current capabilities, but you know, people like uh, Brandon Picasso, and if you haven't ever seen Brandon Picasso, do go give him a look. Uh, his channel is fantastic. But he would give you the kind of the um, impetus, I think, to, to go ahead and buy the, buy the kit to take these things apart. So definitely to work on this, I do need to add to my tool accoutrement here, here in the US. Um, so we'll definitely be buying some things to, to, to work on this because I'll need to be able to lift it to get the wheels off and service the brakes and, and everything else. Um, how do we get it here? We'll get to in a second. But also what's going on with this bike is the fuel tank is over there. Um, it has this like ghost purple flames paint job, which is kind of cool. And I'm debating whether I want to paint the bike because I've had a vision for one of these bigger cruisers. I've had a paint color vision in my head for a long time. So I'm not sure where I go with that, but also uh, I would like to see, can I find a kind of a slimmer front fender? I've, I've never been a huge fan of the chunkier front fenders. And I really don't want to cut this one though, because it is original Valkyrie and I, I am loath, I'm loath to, to, to kind of do anything too much to this because, because it's a Valkyrie. Um, and again, I, I, I get some people might not know the history of, of a Honda Valkyrie, but these are just really cool bikes. F6Cs are known to go for hundreds of thousands of miles. Uh, this is not just like one or two kind of outliers like you get with all bikes. This is any of them that are out there and have been ridden kind of consistently for the last 20 plus years to have hundreds of thousands of miles on. These things are an absolutely fantastic engine because I mean it's it's a Goldwing engine and we know Goldwings can do that so that's kind of where where this this stuff comes from um, definitely things I will be doing is we'll have a look at the brakes I'll probably do a video on that um, the rear is a drum uh, not a drum sorry the rear has a, a disc on these which I obviously like uh, the rear kind of feels a little bit seized so I'll be I'll be fixing that um, definitely need to go through the brakes do pads do fluids the usual stuff I'll probably do brake lines of course um, carbs may need, re may need rebuilding. I'll probably just go through them anyway. Um, 
change seals where I can and, and, and just basically give them a check over, a little health check. Uh, the airbox is currently still living with Alex in New Mexico. Uh, he is he's sorting, bringing parts or getting parts to me. Like I said, I'm not concerned about it. Uh, we'll talk about why this isn't running in a second. The tank has a little bit of kind of scum built up on the inside. I did check it. It doesn't seem to be um, actual rust. It just looks like it's kind of grime because I could wipe it away off the, the inside of the tank, which is good. Um, the seat's over there. So I did take it apart. I started to kind of clean stuff. So that's why the, the frame is now very clean. I mean, there was this was really clean. It was just dusty. Um, so I just kind of gave it a once over, uh, started taking some things apart. What I want to do uh, during this video is just have a look at some of the switch gear really sticky uh, and that leads on to what's wrong with it and it's not cranking. Um, Alex did put a new starter on there, uh, it's hilarious, there's like a car alternator on here. <laughs> I, love, I love I love what Honda did with these things, I really really do. I, uh, Honestly, I can't, I genuinely can't thank Alex enough uh, that I have the opportunity to own this thing because I just, I think these bikes are unbelievably cool. I know lots of people probably wouldn't agree with that assessment because it's kind of like uh, about as dad as you can get also. It's like, oh, well, I didn't want a Goldwing, but I got a Goldwing in a cruiser frame. Um, but these engines are beasts, which look, you'll get to see at some point soon, hopefully. Um, the aim is to have this on the road for next year. Uh, I obviously have some things I want to do to the Z900 RS. Uh, V-Strom is kind of, I'm happy with where the V-Strom is. I don't think I need to do anything to it. I just like, I, I love riding it. Um, I really, I don't have anything crazy I want to do to that. And the, the CB750, I mean, Honda kind of made a near perfect bike with the CB750. I'll eventually rebuild the forks and I would love to put different shocks and stuff on it, but. I mean, it's a bike for toaster, so it doesn't really need any of those things. Um, and I'm really trying not to do anything to it because then it would be a bike for me. <laughs> We'd be back to, there'd be four bikes for me and, and none for toaster, which wouldn't make any sense. Um, we are definitely gonna go through, I'm, I don't know, I might change the bars, but I'll obviously ride with these bars first to see how I like them. Um, I'll probably change the levers, uh, rebuild, both of the master cylinders, both clutch and, and brake. Um, excuse me. Carbs, obviously. Uh, air box needs to go back on. I'll pull the wheels off, check bearings, all that usual stuff. Um, obviously, we'll give it all the fluids, a flush and a change. Um, clean up the tank. And I mean, then hopefully uh, we can get this on the road. From the, from the, for the no crank stuff, it, honestly, all the switch gears feel super sticky. So I'm probably gonna take it all apart clean it, um, see if anything needs replacing. Hopefully it's just some contacts or whatever else. I know Alex said he personally would start at the neutral switch and also, you know, the clutch pull switch, whatever, whatever we've checked, maybe side sand switch. Might just delete the side sand switch, to be honest. I've never been overly bothered by stuff like that. Um, you know, and then if we have to get down into it, main fuse and whatever else. I was talking to the wonderful Brickhouse Builds. There's another channel the name that I've mentioned. Uh, again, if you haven't ever seen Brickhouse Build's channel, highly recommend it. Um, he does some really cool builds, so I've already been talking to him about what he might recommend doing um, in regard to electrics. There's a couple of spots in the frame that I'm probably just gonna hit with some black paint for now. Um, like I said, eventual plan is I would love to do a full tear down uh, on this bike and kind of get it to where it's gonna last for me for the rest of my life because I can't see myself getting rid of this. It's it's a Valkyrie and I just, honestly, I think they're so, so cool. Uh, even if I move back to Ireland, I would try to take this one with me. Obviously, a Z900 RS I can buy in Ireland. Um, probably wouldn't take that. Uh, the V-Strom probably wouldn't take that. I'd take parts off it for sure and ship them home, but I'd probably sell the V-Strom here and the CB750. I may also should try ship that actually because again it's an older it's an older cool bike. Um, I, I would keep the old ones because I mean they're just going to get more rare. Um, but this one, I mean, there's only what twenty seven thousand miles on this thing. It's uh, it's basically brand new as far as these go. So that's that's the story of the Valkyrie. Uh, that's what's wrong with it, which is very little so far that I can find. I mean, everything looks very healthy. Um, we will obviously do an oil drain and stuff on it. I am probably. 
I probably have some, some rebuilding work to do for sure in regards to master cylinders and whatnot, but that's not a big deal. Um, I'm not worried about that. Uh, it, it, like in, in regards of the bike itself, it's in amazingly good condition, like genuinely amazingly good condition. So thanks again, Alex. And how did I get it here? I suppose we should talk about that since it came from New Mexico, which is pretty far away. Um, it got here using a service called Hall Bikes. Um, Volt on Instagram recommended haul bikes and again just to go back to it because I don't think I ever talk about it enough The best part Single best part about being part of YouTube and doing all these videos that I've done over the years yeah, Like I haven't made any money on it. I don't care. It was never about the money. I haven't been majorly successful I have a pretty successful channel and It's gone further than I ever thought it would but the single best thing is all the people I've met and that's because I mean I'm going to be friends with them forever, so I'm <laughs> I'm very happy about that. But Volt, um, and I got lots of suggestions. Again, Brickhouse Bill suggested some. I can't remember everyone else has suggested some, so I apologize. But Volt and Brickhouse Builds especially um, suggested people. And I went with the Hall Bikes, who Volt had used previously. And um, other than one or two very minor hiccups, but which was understandingness between um, us at the very start, say. Uh, I, I might not have read things correctly. Um, I have to say I'm very impressed with their, with their service, um, both from pickup and drop off. Uh, one thing that is not 100% clear from the get go is if you live in like a cul-de-sac or whatever else or a dead end street, uh, you do have to roll the bike out, which Alex had to do uh, to the end of the street because it does come in a massive truck, like truck, truck trailer or We'd call them a lorry at home, uh, over here, 18 wheeler, tractor trailer, whatever you want to call it. Um, I would never use the term tractor trailer because that means something very different where I'm from, but it's a big ass truck with a big ass trailer. Um, and they were able to deliver here, Tobias, the driver, dropped it uh, pretty much to my door, helped me push it up the hill into my garage. So Tobias, thank you very much, uh, absolute gentleman. And um, you know, I had some things come up that I had to call haul bikes and, and say, look, I can't, accept the bike on these two weekends or whatever and they were very accommodating so haul bikes um 100 paid for by myself by the way that was not in any way sponsored some people think seem to think because i've been sponsored a few times recently with some gear uh, that everything is sponsored now that is factually incorrect unfortunately <laughs> i mean i wish if someone wants to sponsor me a track bike <laughs> i'll take it um especially if it's brand new jigsaw thousand suzuki Come on, you know, I've done, I've done services for Suzuki, even though I only buy secondhand bikes, so you've actually technically never earned a penny off me. I don't think Suzuki are gonna sponsor me, damn it. Uh, but, yeah. but yeah, haul bikes, thumbs up. Um, if someone wants me to go into, I'll do a short video on, on the process. If, if so, anyone wants that, let me know in the comments. It's not a big deal, I can do that. It'll be a short video, but if you want me to do it, I'll do it. Um, a massive thank you to Alex. I'm gonna get nice and uncomfortably close to the lens here. Alex, I love you. Uh, maybe, maybe that was too heartfelt. Alex, you're the, you're the best and I love it. Alex, you're great. Thanks, Alex. Um, like I said, uncomfortably close to the lens, people. <laughs> but this Honda Valkyrie hopefully will have a new lease of life under my care uh, very soon. Um, again, Alex, Thank you. Uh, it's a really cool bike. I like uh, genuine. I pretty much robbed Alex. Um, I mean, he he named the price, but I, I robbed him. I still feel like I robbed him. So I owe him a hug and a burrito when I do visit New Mexico. Hopefully sooner rather than later. And uh, yeah, we did. I did make as much space as I could in here. Definitely still space for at least one more bike. Jixxer Thousand 2024. Jixxer Thousand. Come on, lottery win. I would love one with the big piston front forks, but anyway. So yeah, coming up, I suppose, definitely a look at what we can figure out on the electronics on the Valkyrie. See, can we get it just even spinning the starter? That would be, I think, a win. And then into the, the stuff that's gonna be a bit longer term, I need to get like the, the little bike jack. Need to do the brakes, need to do the carbs, need to figure, sort out that tank, get it all back together, get registered, get on the road, so work to do but that's okay uh, honestly most of the upcoming stuff will probably be upgrades on the z900 rs um just because that's what's in my head 
and it's what I kind of have a little list done out for. And I was also talking to Motomax suspension back in Ireland who was giving me some uh, advice on what I should do with the suspension on the Z900 RS and I think I can save a lot of money uh, to what I was originally planning on doing which is good so yeah that's what's coming up um, I know this was more a talky video I do apologize about that but I've had a lot of questions over the Valkyrie by a lot I mean like 20 which is a lot for right now because the videos aren't getting as much views anymore which is fine because uh, I still have all of the people I've met um, <laughs> and the Honda Valkyrie. <laughs> so yeah, um, more to come, stay tuned. Uh, if you've watched this far, thank you very much for watching. As always, a very special thank you to all of my patrons, uh, one of whom is Alex. Uh, so Alex, thank you for your patronage and thank you for, you know, the Honda Valkyrie. <laughs> and um, yeah, I look forward to uh, getting to work on it and I look forward to hopefully Making interesting videos for you guys. Bye everyone, and thanks again. Outro crew. Which is your favorite bike now, huh? Honda Valkyrie. I don't know, does anyone realize how cool these things are? You know what I mean? These are really, really cool bikes. Well, I think they are anyway, but I'm a nerd, so who knows? Maybe they're not. Do you think they're a cool bike, outro crew? There's the question by outro crew.